Dubbed as the largest business to blogger event of the year, Blogapalooza will gather small and big scale businesses to present their products and services to the online community. Now to tell us more about this, we have today Vince Golanco, one of the organizers of the event, also the founder of WhenInManila.com. Good morning, Vince. Good morning, Hillary. Hey, Thank buddy. you so much for having me. You look wonderful. You look great yourself. It's, oh, been, it's been years. It, it has been. It and has it's been. great to catch up on this show. And you have done so well for yourself with oh, WhenInManila.com. I mean, you've really built it from the ground up. And now you have this Blogapalooza. It sounds like a lot of fun. Tell me more about this. It, it is so much fun. Um, what Blogapalooza is, is uh, it came from When in Manila. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it started just as my blog. I like sharing stories and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And every day, uh, it used to be dozens. Now I get hundreds of emails a day. It's crazy. With businesses, small all the way to giant corporations yeah. asking me, hey, who are the bloggers? How do I meet the bloggers? How do I promote my business online mm -hmm. on, a, on blogs? on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. How do I do it? How do I start? I have no clue. Uh, they approached me and our partner. Well, mm -hmm. it's me and Francis for uh, When in Manila and right. my partner, Anton Diaz of uh, OurAwesomePlanet.com. Yeah. They approach us every day, hundreds of emails every day. So we realize, hey, there's a need in the market for this type of mm -hmm. event. Uh, we call it a B2B networking event, B2B. a business to blogger networking event right. where businesses can come present their business in an entertaining way mm -hmm. and bloggers can then write about it. What makes this different from other just regular um, uh, conventions yeah. or whatnot is the businesses have to create booths and presentations that are more entertaining mm, okay. so they can sort of entice the blogger to write about them. Right. Because if it's just a regular, if you just have a regular presentation, it's, it feels like a lecture. Sure, and, and yeah. It's, it's like not, a seminar, any boring seminar, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's not really worth writing about. Mm. For bloggers, they need something worth writing about. Sure. So they come up with all these gimmicks for the bloggers to come up to their booth or to listen to them when they present on stage. So mm -hmm. it, it turns out to be a little bit of a show like and a tell competition circus. Of... A little bit, a little bit <laughs> who, who presents in the most fun way? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. A little bit of that. Some of our, from the past, some of our great presentations were, um, I remember Laser Extreme, the laser tag. Yeah. Uh, during their presentation, they just jumped out of the crowd with their laser tag vest and just shot at each other. They just that's played. crazy. Another one. But, but yeah, that's intriguing. It's like, whoa, talk about stage presence. Yeah, exactly. So each business just comes up with a creative way mm -hmm. to present themselves mm -hmm. to these 500 to 1,000 social media experts, wow. whether they're famous on blogs, mm -hmm. on Twitter, Instagram, they're there. That is amazing. Um, you have really, like I said, you know, you have dug your hooks deep in the blogging industry, and and you invite hundreds of, of, of bloggers and social media personalities. Now, when you started out, how was the response compared to now that you know you're sort of the thing in the blogging scene? Uh, well, uh, at the, uh, well, when we started the blog, when we started when in Manila, it was actually mm -hmm. surprising that. Uh, I think I came into the blogging scene at the perfect time. You did. For, for Blogapalooza, on the other hand, when we started, it was already doing well. Mm -hmm. um, the first year we had Blogapalooza, we were expecting around 100 bloggers and around uh, around 20 businesses to sponsor, maybe. We yeah. got 50 businesses, I believe, the first year. Not and, bad. Uh, about 150 bloggers. Yeah. We grew last year. We had around 400 to 500 bloggers come last wow. year. And we had uh, way over 50 businesses. This year, uh, it's going to be around there as well, but much more bloggers. That is astounding. Now, so obviously, you know, the whole blogging industry revolves around businesses taking their, well, business online. Now, what, do you, what would you say are the advantages of, of going online for your business as opposed to the traditional, you know, I've got a store, walk in. Uh, well, it's a mix. You still, uh, I always. I mean, you still have that, right? Yes, absolutely. I, I highly still recommend all <laughs> sorts of different advertising sure. uh, or media. Points, yeah. um, but online, it's a lot more affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, putting an ad online or going online a lot of times can be free. Something right. as simple as creating a Facebook page for your business mm -hmm. or as simple as having a blog write about you. Even if it's a small blog, let's say it's a personal blog where, yeah. uh, let's say you just started a blog yesterday. Okay. Your family still reads your blog, your mm -hmm. friends maybe, your cousins. Mm -hmm. So when you say, hey, I found this great new place, like earlier you guys were talking about Teddy's Burgers. You can write about that, yeah, take yeah, photos of right. the burgers, and at least your family will find out about it. Mm -hmm. And as your blog grows and you get more readers, uh, some people are strangers, they find out about these businesses. So it, it really helps the businesses as word of mouth. Right, and it's an effective word of mouth. It's viral, as it, one would say. It, it could be viral, but other than being viral, it's a bit more genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of times, especially when blogging, you only write about interesting things. Yes. So um, 
when your family member or someone who reads your blog, they feel like they know you. They yeah. feel like it's a person. Then they trust you. They trust you. Your and they recommendations. Like it's a personal recommendation. Yeah, so they're exactly. like, oh, wow, Hillary likes this. I like Hillary. I'm going to check this place out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is, I mean, that that is such a smart, simple way to get the word out on things. Now, uh, how would you how would you invite people or, you know, get them to try and get into this? Let's say they've never gone to Blogapalooza before, but, you know, they do want to take their business out there and get more people to write about them. They are ready for more exposure. How would you encourage them to come and take that leap? Oh, well, um, for Blogapalooza, it's very easy. They can just go to the website. Mm -hmm. It's a blogapalooza.whenInmanila.com. Okay, there's should be on the screen very soon. <laughs> <laughs> there's around uh, uh, 50, uh, I'm sorry, 500 to 1,000 bloggers who come there. That is uh, a lot, Vince. It is, it is a lot. So even if just a couple of them write about your wow. business, that's already two more bloggers yeah. writing about your business. But there's usually a lot more, especially if you present it in an entertaining mm -hmm. way. So they, they can easily contact me if they need more information. Uh, but yeah, it's a, a very, very fun event and I do uh, rec highly recommend it to a lot of people. Awesome. When does it happen? It's on the 20th, Yes, correct? it's uh, September 20th at uh, SM Aura at the convention center over there. It's an all-day event, so it's happening right when SM Aura opens, I, think, I believe, at 10 a.m. <laughs> and we're closing the place down, I believe, until nice. 9 or 10 p.m. So we'll be there all day. Uh, there'll be presentations. We have speakers from um, from people like Karen Bordador and other online. Oh, Karen, she was just on the show recently. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she has a new online store. Uh, last year, I think we had the Boys Night Out speak there. Oh. <laughs> we had Bogart the Explorer. We had Mikey Bustos. So mm -hmm. all these online Amazing. celebrities, we bring them there to show the bloggers and the businesses how they themselves succeeded online. Great. Uh, Twitter, Instagram accounts, how do they follow? It's very easy. Uh, it's at Blogapalooza, or they can also find me. It's at Vince Galongo or at Huen in Manila. Perfect. You are such a pro at these things. Oh, thank you. So are you. So are you. <laughs> well, good luck. Blogapalooza sounds like it's going to be an immense success, and it sounds like it's really fun. And I hope to drop by. Uh, I don't have a business yet, but... We will start you off somehow. You are a business. Your brand <laughs> is a business. Your TV show will have you there. You're the one person that said that, so I'll take that any day. Thank you so much, Vince. Thank you it's for having fun. me. You're welcome to come back anytime. Thank you so much. There you have it, Vince Golanko, one of the organizers of Blogapalooza and founder of WhenInManila.com.